In this tutorial, we'll cover tools located in the Manage suite of icons that do not really relate to each other, but they are useful for managing different aspects of the modeling operations. We shall cover Set First Point, Reverse, Convert Object Type, and Extract Controls. The remaining tools in the Manage suite are covered in other tutorials. The Set First Point tool it allows you to reposition the first point of closed shapes. Create a 2D rectangle. To make the first point visible, activate the Show First Point option in the Display Options palette, which you invoke from the Display pull-down menu. The first point is now visible and we're able to see it better by switching to wireframe mode. With the Set First Point tool active, click on the point you want to make the first point. Why would you want to move the first point? Well, because its position affects some operations. For example, when lofting between a number of shapes, it is important that the first point of these shapes line up, otherwise a twisted object will be generated. Please see the NURB Surface tutorial for more information on this. Next is the Reverse Direction tool. Here we have a 2D rectangle. To see the direction in which a surface object is drawn, turn on the Show Directions inside the Display Options palette. Observe the direction arrows are going clockwise. To reverse them, simply click on the rectangle with the Reverse Direction tool selected. How is this operation useful? More or less the same way as the Set First Point is. Using again the lofting example, when you loft a number of shapes, you want their direction to be consistent. If they are not, this tool will correct them. Please see the NURB Surface Tutorial for more information on this. With 3D Solids, the Reverse Direction tool basically turns them inside out. Here we create a polygon and a copy in Shaded Work Display mode. With the Reverse Direction tool active, click on the right polygon and observe the difference. You can also turn on the face normals of an object by selecting it with the Pick tool and then turning on the Show Face Normals option in the Tool Options palette. Next we discuss the Convert Object Type tool. When possible, this tool converts one type of an object to another. We create a torus and make a copy. With the Convert Object Type tool, click on the right torus. This invokes the Convert Options dialog. Listed at the top is the current object and model type. In the Convert to Field from the Model Type pull-down menu, select Faceted. As you do, note that the Convert to Object Type field automatically changes from torus to plain object. Click OK to exit the dialog. Observe the smooth torus on the left and the faceted version on the right. Extract Controls is next and is used to extract controls from controlled parametric objects. We have four objects, a torus, a revolved object, a NURBS object, and a swept object. With the Extract Controls tool selected, click on each of them and observe the result. The torus has no controls. As for the remaining objects, the Extract Controls tool extracted their original source shapes. And this concludes Manage Tutorial.